Sound design. Yeah. All right, so we have all of the filters here set to have the magnitude response that we want. It looks good. Uh, you can see that I've got the peaks like touching this top target, and then I've got the crossover here touching this bottom target. So let's go ahead and take a look at the phase response now and finish up this alignment. So I'll mute this bottom target, and if we take a look at the sum right now, it does not look good, right? We want it to be hitting this target. So what needs to happen here? Well, let's first look at like what is the area of interaction that we're most concerned with. Let's put some little cursors in here before we switch over to looking at the phase graph. Here is the crossover region. How did I find this? Well, you could use your trace offsets. Um, up 10 dB, down 10 dB to find this area of 10 dB interaction. Um, or here in Crosslight, you could set these cursors to channel 1 and channel 2, and then you can put them on top of each other, and I can see here that the delta is 10 dB. And I link them together, and now I can drag them around and find like where does 10 dB start and stop. So I'll say, okay, there's 10 dB, that's 81 hertz, and now I'll go in the other direction. Where is the delta? I'm looking at this number over here. So it stops at 127. So that's 81 to 127. So I unlink them and just reset this one to 81. Now I just have a visual representation of really the most important area from my crossover here. So I can switch over to looking at the phase graph and I see, okay, there's the problem. They're not aligned. What needs to happen here? Um, well, it looks to me, and I can move this around to make this easier to see, it looks to me like um, this red trace is steeper than this blue trace. So let's try to solve this with some delay, because I don't want to mess with the magnitude relationship that I've already set up if I don't have to. Okay, so how much delay do I need to make this happen? Well, I can calculate it if I know the phase span, the difference in phase here. So I'll just put my cursor somewhere in the middle here. Let's choose 102 hertz. And I see over there on the right that I'm at 102 degrees. And so if I move to 102 hertz down here at a, at, uh, on my other trace, on my red trace, that's at 24. So I have a difference of about 124 degrees between these two points. So I can just divide 124 by a full 360 degree rotation, divide that by the um, frequency that I was looking at, which I think was 102 hertz, and then I just multiply by 1000 to get milliseconds, and I see that that's 3.37. So let's put in 3.37 milliseconds into my delay, and now let's watch this blue trace move down towards this red trace as I unbypass the delay. Okay, so now we see that we're matched at 102 hertz where we expect it to be, but not fully through here. So now I can just sort of play with it. I'm gonna just I'm just poking the uh, the up button here until I see like a better uh, relationship here, just like a better balance of errors, basically. Okay, so let's say that I'm happy with that. Let's switch back over to the magnitude display and look at the sum. And it looks pretty good. And I'm actually happy with this. I'm getting a full 60 dB summation. So I might say, I don't need to do anything else. But um, if I were to make one change here, I think I would actually just want to fill in this tiny gap here. I'm being really picky now. But if we look at the face here, we can see that um, it's not too far off. So I don't want to play with any other filters here. I think what I'll do is just um, add a little PEQ filter to both channels here at 75 hertz. So I put that in, and now we just have this little bump here that just gives us, you know, a little closer approximation exactly to this target here. So I think that I would say that I was done here. I'll store these settings, uh, put these into my processor now, and measure these two speakers again. So that's how I would go about finding the alignment for these two drivers. So Bryce, if you're watching this, I would love it if you would try out these settings, measure them for us, and then send them to me and see if you actually get the results that we came up with here. 
Okay, let me know if you have any questions for me or any suggestions for how I could have improved this. Thanks. Sound design. Yeah.